Hi, this is Naomi with Baker's Royale. Today I've partnered with Daisy Sour Cream to share with you my holiday tradition of a sweet potato pie. It is one of our family's favorite and I hope you enjoy it too. Let's get started. This is the really fun part in my family. My kids really enjoy doing this. They will roll the pie dough to its death. So that is exactly why I always give them their own pie crust because during the holidays, of course, everyone wants to have their beauty pie. I'm no different than that, but I also want my kids to have fun in the kitchen. So that's why I give them their own pie crust to roll. Okay, so flour your work surface. So just keep turning your dough as you roll it. Okay, so once you have your pie crust rolled out, you need to transfer it into your pie pan. The easiest way I do it is I just fold over my pie crust in fourths like this, and then we're just going to unfold it. It's a good crust and it's a strong one, so you can work with it without worrying about it tearing. Fold your pie crust under like this, so to flute this, I use a really simple method. Just use your hands. It's two fingers and your knuckle. Okay, so now we're ready and we're gonna let this chill for 30 minutes in the refrigerator. All right, now that our pie crust is nicely formed, it's chill, we are gonna get ready to blind bake it. This just helps to keep your crust nice and flaky because if you went from the fridge and poured your filling right in and baked it, the bottom would be really soggy and no one likes a soggy crusted pie. So I'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper in and I'm gonna show you a neat trick. If you just put it in, you can see how it's really hard to work with because it's pretty stiff. Take it and crumple it. Now it'll be much more pliable. Line your pie crust with the wrinkled parchment paper. We're gonna fill it with some dried beans to keep the weight down. You could buy ceramic pie weights, a little bit more pricey, and you don't actually really need them. I have gone as far as to use rice when I don't have beans on hand. They're a little bit harder to remove, so definitely if you have beans on hand, just use them, or just keep them in a canister in your kitchen. The whole idea of this is so that your pie crust doesn't puff up while you bake it. Okay, now that we're ready, we're going to bake this in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. Once that 20 minutes is done, remove the parchment and the beans, and then we'll move this back into the oven to bake for another five to seven minutes. That just will make it so the bottom of the crust gets this nice, beautiful golden color. Okay, this is the easiest part to do. And if, again, if you're working with kids, like I often am with mine, this part, Step aside and let your kids do it because you can add everything into the bowl all at once. It doesn't matter how you add them in any order. Just add everything in and then we're just gonna give it a good whisk. So that's my maple syrup. I'm gonna add some eggs, some heavy cream, brown sugar for some sweetness. We've got cinnamon, ginger, and some allspice. Let's add the daisy sour cream. The sour cream adds a nice richness to the sweet potato pie filling and it keeps it from cracking. Now I'm gonna add my sweet potato puree. Okay, give it a good whisk to blend everything in. You can see that the filling is made. It's really fast and easy. We will now add that into the pie crust. Pour it in. Next, add the pie into the oven and let it bake at 375 for about 50 to 60 minutes. Start checking for donuts at about 45 minutes. You can do that by tapping the side of your pan just slightly. The center will jiggle just a little bit and that's okay because the residual heat will bake the rest and then you're all set. Now that the pie is out, let's talk about our toppings. I have whipped cream and candied nuts. The candied nuts are a must for this pie. They add a little bit of crunch, a little bit of sweetness, and if you add spice to it, it gives it that sweet and spicy profile. And you can give them as gifts. They make great hostess gifts, teacher's gifts. Just make a double or triple batch and keep them on your counter in an airtight container. So now the good part, let's cut a piece. All right, let's top this. Give it a little whipped cream and a few pizzas of nuts. 
And there you go. I hope you make this a family tradition in your home.